What's up everybody, welcome back to another drawing tutorial, the great horned owl today. So, big like feathers on his eyebrows. On a landscape page, use a pencil and an eraser and hit pause if I go too fast. We're going to start with the eyes, right? So we'll go curving and then kind of flat across the top, right? And they have these little spikes on the corner of their eyes. Kind of comes in the front here to a point and then back down and then it goes all the way back around to the corner right so we have a black rim sort of coming around right so we got like the circle the iris the big like round sort of iris line and then it's all black around this. Okay. And in the picture I'm drawn from, they have these real, real skinny cat-like eyes. It kind of makes them look more intense. So you could go for a circle or this long one that I'm going to do. Because I kind of like the look of it. I know it's not like anatomically correct, but we'll go for a long one. Because, you know, in art, you can kind of do what you want. So, you can put shadows with color or not, right? So, it's kind of up to you, but I'll just draw a sort of a highlight kind of a thing and then add some hatching just underneath the eyelash here and maybe just around the side. It just makes everything a bit more shaded and kind of cool looking, basically. Okay, just gives everything a bit of, pushes the top of the eye like, like it's underneath. And some dots and stuff. Just makes it a bit um, more three-dimensional. So the other eye, you measure this, it fits in between that space. So the width of his eye is how far you go over to the other eye. Right, so you want to start about there. So this space fits in here, and then this will go over again, and then flicks out the the back there. Right, and then we go down around. And then the iris, this is this circle just inside, touches that bottom line back up to there. And then you want to color those black sections, shade them in, and the eyelash make it a bit thicker. And then we'll give them that circular pupil Sorry, long, not circular, oval people. Sort of like that. And then again, we'll go with the... Make it a bit longer. So we'll go highlight the circle there and then like catching all underneath the eye. Okay, now we've got little lines that come around the eye. It's kind of like eyelid lines, right? It's just like a rim that sort of comes around here. Right, and then the feathers for the face, right? So it comes across the front here. So we start to get these 
the horn sort of part comes out from the eye, right? So it comes across here. They could get sort of furry. Right, and then we seem to have a sort of an eyelash, sort of eyebrow area here as well. Right. So then this is all sort of feathery just on the top of the nose. And it can be sort of random spikes and all that stuff. So patterns of feathers, a beak, and then the stuff that comes up here. So we'll go, let's go, we'll go out this way first. Little fur, sort of fine sort of feathers coming out from just the eye here. Right. And then the beak comes down the middle. And it, this has feathers on it as well, but say it comes like down here. And then we'll sort of line up the middle there. And then we've got like some feathers on the on the beak itself. sort of the side like that okay so we'll go back up now and do these sort of elaborate um, sort of horned parts right so these sort of spiky kind of eyebrows right start flicking these up this way now. Okay, so this is still kind of short feathers on this part. They eventually become like really long. Right, so say, Yeah, so there's like a bone maybe or something that maybe controls this. So it goes there. And then like this becomes a long feather up that way. So we're talking really big now. There. some like textures on this and these feathers go into the head at some point maybe here and they get gradually smaller as we go down okay so that's the first set of feathers there's more that go behind the head and stuff so we do the same on this side. We'll try anyway.
okay smaller then as we go back down to here right not bad Whew. so it's like he's got wings on his face it's crazy <laughs> so then across the top we've got like these bumpy sort of forehead feather lines And then these can be sort of bumpy and feathery, like this kind of stuff. Yeah. Basically these random sort of bumps going up all across here. This sort of pattern. Like that. So our owl's face, we've got this roundy owl face. So it goes coming out, so say, we'll go over here. Got like real furry part. And then it, it gets like real fine and it circles around. He's got like this love heart sort of. face shape that comes around like that and then we meet some more feathers on the neck it gets like longer we would try and do the same thing over here about the same level you want to start going around for this. So, and then we've got like some spiky little feathers that we all just go down then onto his neck, just around here. Okay. And then there's another sort of pattern going on the here, right? So we go around again, just this kind of dotted black love heart kind of texture line that comes around this way. It's like another level. And you can do some more just going around, little dots on the cheek. coming around the face here. Okay. And that's basically the face. Now we've got like some, a few longer sort of feathers and then like the side of the head. So this is like the face part. And then we have some more elaborate feather shapes. Coming down this way, right? A few of them. Just going in. Make it gradually smaller. And then we have the rest of the head that comes around and joins the body, right? Complicated enough creature now. Thank God I didn't decide to do like 
more of the body because it would have taken a long time. Cool looking owl though. Love owls. They're such cool creatures. Something about owls. Nocturnal. You never see them. It's hard to spot them. There's one that lives close to my house. You can hear them. I think I saw it once in like, like at dusk. Right. Anyway, so side of the head then. Just this kind of, it's kind of like furry but feathery at the same time. So side of the head sort of just goes down this way. Right, and then. Like this, and so the head is turned towards us. And the body is kind of like going that way a little bit, right? So the back, and it's kind of smooth because it's like these flying feathers just goes down that way. All right, so the front then. Goes down that way a bit. Right, so that's our general shape. So we've got a flying feather section here, right? So a wing there, and then a wing over here. And then the chest, like the sort of neck area is kind of like all scrunched up, right? So there's all these like feathers sticking out here as well so you just go like this kind of the thing okay like all just like coming out here so if you want to draw like your directional lines so like the center line for the chest like is like going that way right the the breast of the bird and then all these feather lines just going that way and then the bottoms of them right, like this kind of a thing and then say up all here. wings kind of come out this way so you got like two sort of sections of the wing one going down here got the back and this will just have all texture on it here okay and then kind of like what we did on the head right you'll have all these sort of wing sort of pattern shapes right so basically like you'll just have these bumping lines like this right like lots of them and then going the other way as well
So easiest way to draw sort of a, a texture for feathers is this sort of way, right? There's a line coming down the middle there, so. But you don't have to draw each individual feather, it's just, it's a texture. It gives the illusion of feathers, right? The brain fills it in. When it sees this shape, it's going, that has to be a feather. What else could that be? Right, and then there's like some curved lines on this. Okay, so what else? Let's see. We've got big feathers here. Okay, kind of like this. And then they get sort of smaller as we go up here. Right, and they go down. A couple of layers here. On the wing feathers of birds, it is good to actually draw in the feathers themselves, kind of like that. Right, and then there's some here. And then they get kind of longer going down here. Right, and then you just add that patterning sort of thing then. And it gets sort of more like this then as you go up. Smaller and smaller. Right, and then say you'll see some like an edge sort of to this little wing, and then like some small little textures on that. That's it really. And then you can add little speckles or dots and you know if it's windy sort of. Big leaves sort of. But that's it. Great Horned Owl. Hope it was helpful. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.